Hey, Jason Geis, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Southeast Indiana. I'm out here today taking a look at a soybean field evaluating emergence. So I wanted to put together a short video on a quick and easy way to do soybean stand counts. Um, when I'm looking at soybean fields, uh, I like to see about 100 to 120,000 final stand. This is what Purdue's data has shown to be the agronomic optimum final plant stands um, after planting. Now we've all seen fields that uh, have ended up with considerably less, maybe 60, 70, 80,000 plants per acre, um, and we've still seen very good yields on that. But you know that would be an individual situation that we would want to evaluate and discuss with myself or your Pioneer sales rep if you end up with much thinner stands on whether or not we need to thicken those up. So when I am doing soybean stand counts, the magic number to remember is 42 inches. Um, if you got 15 inch rows, 42 inches would be equal to one ten thousandth of an acre. So in this situation, I do have 15 inch rows. So I'm gonna count the number of plants that have popped up in 42 inches. So in this case, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you take 12 times 10,000. Uh, in this situation, I've got 120,000 plants emerged. So a lot of times what I like to do is actually count two rows and take the average. So I've already counted this row next to it. I've got 11. So 11 plus 12 divided by two would be a, an average of 115,000 plants per acre emerged right here. Now, if you've got a drill, you've actually got to count two rows if you're on seven and a half inch spacing. So in that situation, you take your 42 inches and you would count the number of plants in two rows and multiply by 10,000. If you are planting in 30 inch rows, you would count the number of plants in 21 inches and multiply by 10,000. Or you could count the full 42 and then divide by two. Now, when you're trying to get a good average for your field, uh, you're gonna wanna do a handful of stand counts across different soil types. You know, different areas may have uh, more crusting than others, may have more residue in some places than others. Um, all these things are going to impact emergence. So you're gonna wanna do a handful of different counts to get a good average for that particular field. Uh, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or your Pioneer sales rep. Hope this helps. Stay safe. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.